So it's the setup day of NAB 2019. Uh, this is the Sonifex Stand C3036 in Central Hall. Uh, I'm just going to show you our new products that we've got and some of the existing ones. First off, we've got these uh, new Dante audio file interfaces. These are single stereo and dual stereo interfaces to Dante and um, taking different formats for the connectors. So we've got um, stereo. XLR input, stereo XLR output yeah, for analog and ASCBU. One of the things that uh, is different about these products is we've used very good A to D and D to A converters. So they give, um, for the, certainly for the analog side, we have greater than 120 dB dynamic range with sample rates up to 192 kilohertz supported. They're all PoE devices uh, and very simple. Two other standout ones were uh, headphones with uh, six and a quarter inch and three and a half mil jacks and there's a mic version as well so mic input with a very high gain range on the input and phantom power and a high pass filter there um, but they're very very rugged very robust um, and very small packaging as well we've got these two other interfaces which are multi-channel dante there's a, a four analog in and out as you can see on the rear there and eight analog in and out to standard Dante, so only using the primary port for Dante, no redundancy there. The, the star product of the show though is uh, this one here, which is our new commentator unit, which is for two commentators, so it has two mic inputs and two headphone outputs. Um, the beauty of this is it's, um, it's also using Dante, but you can uh, configure 16 Dante inputs and outputs on this unit. Um, we'll, we'll have a look at the mix matrix for it just here. So uh, what we'll do, I'll show you the, um, the cross point matrix for, for this product. So what we've done over standard Dante controller, if I click here you'll see the standard Dante controller here. What we've done is overlaid a mix engine over the top of that. So any Dante input and any physical input can be mixed and routed to any Dante output and any physical output on the unit. Um, the other great thing that we've done is these uh, little rotary encoders here that you see. Um, you can define up to four pages of six rotary encoders. So I can, I can uh, scroll through the pages here and you see I've got six pages. Each one of these is set up differently um, and you can see them on the, on the grid here. So these are input encoders, uh, these are output encoders and here we've got mixed matrix uh, at the cross points. So let's, let's check out an input encoder here. Things I can change. Um, for, for general, this is saying that it's a mic input, phantom power is there, and uh, whether it affects the on-air button, and active talkback associated with that. It's a lazy gang for the talkbacks, and uh, whether it affects the on-air as well. So, uh, and then the encoders, you can always choose uh, the position of them on the, sort of on the grid, uh, their function, whether it's level or metering only, uh, for some of the other ones you've got pan on the same control and then the colour on it so it's all colour coded and what you see here is a, a, an overview of the encoder assignments so um, if we look at our pages here you'll see that that corresponds with pages one two you see in the top corner we've got page two page three and page four so what's good about this product is it can be used in any situation um, if you want to control the level of outputs to a PA all you have to do is uh, define a, a, a Dante output and assign a rotary encoder to that output and you're away. And so what you can use it is with these products. So if you do need to um, have a stereo output in, in the bar or something like that, or the hospitality, you can just add to your Dante network. It's very simple. The other great thing about this product, if you look at it, is um, we can define buttons in any position as well. So the button functions here, we can uh, change those. If I want that to be a different page number, a page select, I can get that to select page three, and that's done. So this, pressing this button now, will instantly select page three. So it's very, very quick, very configurable. Um, makes it very flexible in use. The, the great thing about it though, is for actual use, you can lock this thing down. So you can define which buttons and which rotary encoders are accessible and which ones aren't. And also, it's completely remote controllable from the website. So what it means is for your less technical commentators, you can actually configure everything for them and maybe just allow them to select their own uh, headphone level so they'll be able to change that. If you can see that there, they can change 
headphone level, and then we've got panning left and right, so you can see if you can, you can send the signals to left and right here. So it's very simple. So that's that product. Um, we've got our um, AVN um, AS67 products, which use Ravenna AS67, so we've got our PTP Grandmaster clock. The uh, award-winning PXH12, you can see it was best of show, and the uh, IABM BAM Awards, and it was an uh, AV Awards finalist. And this is uh, a 12-channel stream mixer. So each of these little sections here, you can see there's a normal and alternate input, there's a mute, and you can. this is where you assign the output to be the left ear, right ear, or stereo. So each of these um, inputs is mixed to speakers, headphones, and there are XLR outputs as well, um, as well as streams on the network. So it's a very quick and very simple way of monitoring the streams that are coming. So if the you press the button, you can, you can dish of the rest is it. pressing a button solo to it as well. So it's very, very quick uh, to check streams on your network. These products down here are our portals. These are multi-channel mix engines. Uh, and they, they use some of the same technology that's found in our CU2 product. So if I look here, uh, we've got uh, three versions of the product. So one with eight stereo analog inputs and eight stereo analog outputs. Eight stereo ASEVU inputs and eight stereo ASEVU outputs. And then eight mic inputs and eight stereo analog outputs. And these can either be supplied with metering, as you see there, or without. And the rears of the panels, the rear panels can either be with thermal block connectors or with um, RJ45s and D-types as well. Um, but this, they're general fix-it boxes, so again, any input, any physical input can be mixed and routed to any stream input and output as well. So you can create mixed minuses, you can create clean feeds. It's, it's basically a mixer in a box that uses streams as well as physical I.O. That's those products on the back row. If we come around here, you see our talkback products. So talkback intercoms, which we've had for a little while now. So this is a, a six-button variant, ten-button variant, and twenty-button variant. These are all connected via um, AS67 uh, using standard networking. And the, the great thing about this is it's a peer-to-peer -peer device. So you don't need to have a central matrix. If you just wanted a couple of these, so you had um, just two areas that needed. Uh, control or access to six other areas, you can very simply put two of these uh, together up with a switch and you've got a system. So you don't need to spend a lot of money on a central router. Very simple again and those come in rack mount format as well as uh, desktop as well. So this is our 20 button desktop. The rest of the stand we've got um, just our existing products. So our, our CMC21 uh, analog commentator, um, the CMTV8, monitor, uh, sorry, talkback control unit, and then our, our signal insights. So those are pretty much the other things that we're showing. The other thing to say is our 50th anniversary. So thank you for being our customers for 50 years. And uh, if you have any questions, please go to our website at www.sonifex.co.uk or if you come along to the show, uh, please feel free to come to the stand C3036. See you soon. Bye.